Hey neighbor, today we're gonna to fill in some bare spots with grass seed. Let me show you how I get this done. So we're gonna be seeding some areas that were damaged by the snow last year. I'll be using this superior brand seed I got from the local store. I'm using this to stay consistent as I've used this throughout my lawn over the last few years. If you are starting from scratch, I would suggest using a more superior or premium blend of cultivar. I'll put a link in the description below to show you some good varieties. To do this, I'll be using a thatch rake, garden weasel, some soil, peat moss, and of course, some grass seed. The first thing I do is to clean away any dead grass, allowing room for the new grass to grow. I'm using a dethatching rake here to help with this process. Sometimes, I'll loosen the soil with the garden weasel to help the seed take root. And here's a close up what it's looking like. Next I'll put down a layer of topsoil. I had some leftover Scott's lawn soil in the garage. That should work. You may want to screen your topsoil for any pieces of mulch or sticks when doing this. At this point you're ready to put down your seed. Make sure you have good coverage but there's no need to overcrowd them. I'm using a 70% Kentucky Bluegrass, 30% Perennial Rye Mix right here. Now I like to add a thin layer of soil on top as well. Seed to soil contact is important, so don't forget to mix it in. Lastly, I'll add a layer of peat moss on top. This helps to protect the seed from birds and other scavengers, as well as help the seed to hold in moisture. I also like using peat moss because it will turn a lighter color, letting me know if I need to add more water. Alright, now that you get all your seed laid down, remember that you have three keys to success. You need heat from the sun, you need good seed to soil contact, and you need to keep that seed moist. I'll see you next time. <music>